That's the sound of a pileup at the 13 Colonies special event. Kilo Delta 4, Bravo, Mike Golf. Roger, Roger, you're 5'7, Tampa, Florida. And that's the sound of me breaking through that pile up with a 5-5 signal report from Special Event Station in New Jersey, Kilo 2, India. Hey everyone, I'm Bob, KD4, BMG, HOA Ham. The conditions were pretty pathetic as I started chasing the 13 colonies today, but that didn't stop me. I'm using a compromised antenna, and what better antenna to chase the 13 colonies with than a flagpole antenna? Shouldn't this be a requirement? Nope, the only requirement is that we have fun. I like using compromised antennas because I tried to be stealth. I tried to disappear where I live in my home that is run by a homeowners association. Have an antenna that disappears and it doesn't matter. Have a compromised antenna, not a problem. I'm breaking through the pileups and you can too. Kilo Delta 4 Bravo Mike Golf. Roger, roger, you're 5'9", Tampa, Florida. Thank you for Tampa, Florida there. 73, happy 4th day. 73, have a blast, friend. Thank you, QRZ K2 Echo. I'll leave a link to the video where I converted this $15 Amazon flagpole over to an antenna. I attached a wire to this stainless steel pipe and my wire just runs over in a temporary setup down to my Chameleon Antenna URT1 external tuner. I can use this tuner with any radio in my shack. I have a control box in my shack that sends a signal over the coax shield, tunes the antenna, and I'm having a blast with it today. Delta 4, Bravo, Mike, Tom, 5-9, Philadelphia. 5-9, Tampa, Florida. Thank you. This is Whiskey Mike Three, Papa Echo, November. I'm an advocate for installing the best antenna your money can afford, whether that's commercially manufactured or homebrew, which is just fine, and install it the way the manufacturer states or the textbooks instruct. But what do you do when you find yourself in a situation where you can't quite do that? You can't get in the clear and you can't put up a tower in the backyard. You can't even get up a, a vertical. Well, there's nothing that says you can't have fun with compromised antennas, and that's what I'm showing you in this video. That's what I like to do is give hams hope who don't have the perfect scenario. Try to put up the best antenna you can in your circumstances. Get on the air. Let me show you how to tune this one. So when I say this one, I guess I really mean this tuner setup because this tuner has turned many things into antennas for me. If you're going to try to do the kind of crazy stuff I do, or maybe not so crazy, but just antennas that need tuners, get an external one. The benefit here is you get your match at your antenna rather than sending loss back and forth through your coax. Buy yourself a highly reputable, high-performing, durable antenna tuner, whether it's this Chameleon one or another brand. Here are a couple of things that I like specifically about the Chameleon brand. It has a location right here to attach a coax antenna. So you can attach anything that requires coax. You can do a short jumper from something like this tuner to a BB7 vertical antenna or any other vertical antenna that requires a tuner. Of course, you could tune in the shack. Again, get your match out there. The second thing here that maybe you didn't notice is that coax goes to your coupler. So that's the coupler in the shack. I'll look at the coupler in just a minute. And that's what I'm going to demonstrate how to tune. But what's really intriguing and unique about this is on the top of this tuner, it has this beehive connector. So you can attach any wire antenna. So that's the flexibility with this particular tuner. The other great thing about it is that it works with any transceiver, any transceiver that can send a constant carrier down range. Let's show you how to do it. Select the band that you want to operate on. In this case, I'm going from 40 over to 20 meters and get on over to a constant carrier. In this case, I'm going to use FM. Send about 10 watts down range. So here I am just confirming that I am at 10 watts. 
The next thing we're going to want to do is key up our microphone to go ahead and send the signal and then press the tune button for about two seconds, keep to pressing the PTT, and then just check it again really quick to make sure that you did achieve the SWR you were desiring. Go back to single sideband in my case. Let's go back up to 100 watts and fire it up. Kilo Delta 4 Bravo Mike Golf. 5-9 Tampa, Florida. Okay, thank you for Florida. I hope you have fun working the 13 colonies. Kilo to Juliet, you are set. If only I had a dollar for every time someone says to me, that can't work. That'll never work. <laughs> it's metal. It conducts electricity. It'll transfer RF. Again, don't get lazy with your antennas. Do the best you possibly can. But when you need to hide in plain sight, that's a pretty good antenna. Enough yakking. I just wanted to have some fun with the 13 colonies and show you, you can break through pileups even with compromised antennas. Stop watching my video this 4th of July weekend. Get out there and make some contacts. Talk to you soon, friend. 73.